continue our coverage of the ruling that is making North Carolina lawmakers redistrict the state. We first learned of the federal court's decision last night. Today, some lawmakers are calling it historic. Nine on your side's Brandon Truitt joins us now. And Brandon, you say there's been mixed reaction from people. Angie, good evening. We've seen everything from praise to protests on this ruling, but no matter where you fall on the decision, there could be some changes coming your way. It is up to us. Yeah. Yeah. Beat the drum. Yeah. Protest outside the Capitol building in Raleigh Wednesday as many gather in support of the federal court's decision. We've always felt that partisan politics has no place in redistricting. Gerrymandering is a nearly 200 year old practice that is used more than you might think, but often hard to prove in court. In this most recent case, a federal panel consisting of three judges ruled North Carolina's federal districts were drawn unconstitutionally, drawn to favor Republicans. Representative David Lewis, North Carolina's House Elections Chairman. Obviously, I don't agree with the ruling. We do intend to appeal the ruling. The judges ruled there is too much focus on politics, benefiting one party over another. I think it's an extreme stretch, and uh, hopefully the Supreme Court will see how disruptive this is. U.S. Congressman G.K. Butterfield says the decision is historic. Uh, that the maps are not fair, they are unconstitutional, and they must be redrawn and redrawn very quickly. And so I'm going to uh, say that this is a game changer, uh, not just in North Carolina, but throughout the country. The districts were originally drawn in 2011 after the latest census. Now, at the order of a federal court, they look to be redrawn again. The party in power cannot go to the extreme in drawing maps to give their party uh, all of the power and the minority party none of the power. Court seeming to side with that argument. Now, there are now two cases from Wisconsin and Maryland sitting at the Supreme Court. And Angie, according to Republicans in North Carolina, they look to appeal it the same way. Absolutely. Now, Brandon, with this happening in several states before, we said Wisconsin, Maryland, and now happening in North Carolina, is it a possibility that it can affect the national congressional map entirely? Well, it depends. It's a state-by-state -state issue, but this certainly brings up the debate that this could be happening elsewhere. It, like I said, it's really hard to kind of prove this in court. You see it happening in a lot of states, but proving it is another thing. And now, Brandon, this is just the beginning, because if, let's say, they rule, they go to the Supreme Court, and it continues to move forward, a lot of changes could be made. Well, it certainly could set a precedent at the national level, which could change the way a lot of states are doing business. So that, of course, is a long way away. We're still waiting to see if they officially file for that appeal. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that report, Brandon.